So I hope my video finds you all in a very good health. And, uh, today I am here to discuss about the stream selection process and what are the things, what are the basic factors that you should keep in your mind while deciding for your stream. But before coming to the point, before starting with uh, the discussion, I would like to first pay my most sincere thanks to the higher management of the school and uh, of course the principal of the school because these are the people who are not even for a single moment are going away from thinking about the betterment of your future, the, be the betterment of the overall growth that you are all expected to receive. So, uh, my most sincere thanks to all of them, all of these people thinking about your future continuously. So, coming back to the point, as I discussed with you that yeah, we are going to talk about the stream selection process and what are the things that you are expected to think while going through it. <coughs> See, when we are thinking about which stream we are expected to choose, there are certain things that we have to always keep in mind. The time is long gone when we were expected to think, we were expected to ask people, we were expected to get influenced by people. Because if you imagine there are five streams and only one stream is going to provide you secure and good future, then it makes sense that yeah, you are going to choose it whether you like it or not, but that is not no more the case. Now, if the situation is like whatever you are going to choose, the stream A, you are going to find good career in that. If you choose stream B, you are going to find good careers over there as well. Stream C, the same with the stream C, same with the stream D, same with the stream E and so on. So if we are talking about choosing the stream and in a way that this stream is something that I like to do, why do I need to compromise? Why do I need to compromise while choosing my stream? If any of the streams that I'm going to choose out of my own interest are going to provide me with the same or even better career. A very small example here I would like to put that imagine at the time when the, you know, so, ha, for example, Sachin Tendulkar or Lata Mangeshkar or APJ Abdul Kalam, had they made a mistake while choosing for a career that was suitable for them, what do you think was going to be the result of that choice? Were they going to be as great as they could or they were? No, they were not. Just imagine for a second they had Sachin Tendulkar chosen to you know become a computer engineer. Just imagine had Lata Mangeshkar chosen to become a doctor. No. They did not. Rather, they found out what they are interested in, what they want, they want to do, what they like to do, what actually gives them the inner drive. And result is, you know, evident that yeah, what came out. The same thing, the same thing. Actually, my purpose of being here today is the same thing, and to make it reach to you, guys. One thing I want you and the parents also to understand very clearly is this is a crucial time. This is the stepping stone of your career, of your future, what you're going to become, what how successful you are going to become. Everything starts here. It just feels like that, yeah, it is the very initial phase of my, you know, education. And if I choose a stream, if I do this, if I do that, how it is going to be different. And in future, I can even choose a different uh, career or different, you know, different job line or different domain. So let me tell you honestly, yes, you can choose in future also, but it is not going to be that perfect, that perfect blend of career that you can start from today. Planning start, uh, you can start planning from today, and you can keep on going ahead till the time you reach your, reach the pinnacle of your career. So please, I want all of you to take this thing very seriously that whatever it starts, it starts from here. This is a very, very, very crucial moment. So that's the reason why I'm here today. I will try to provide you certain information which can be very helpful for you to choose a right stream to enter the right career. Long on are the days when a person had to choose between science or biology. Now it's no more the case. 
if you want to become a CA, you have got to choose commerce. If you want to become anything, engineer or you know any anything nearby, a you know, professor or any any researcher or anything, you have to choose science. And if you want to go to medical line, you have to choose biology. And after that, there after these three, there were no confirmation, there were no guarantees, there were no sureties of good careers. But it is no more the case. That is not at all the case now. There are n number of fields. You gotta trust me on that. There are n number of field, fields which are available there, and just, just a, I mean, a bit away from you, and that distance is your ability to identify what you are good at. So now let's start and talk about what are those things what are those options that i have and i have no idea about okay i understand that yeah whatever information you have gathered if in case you are aware student because one thing you have to keep in your mind very clearly only those are going to be successful who are just going to decide right now that what they want to become in life if you are not deciding it here here you are choosing a stream which just because the reason your best friend is choosing it. Best friend has got a dream. Best friend knows that yeah, what I, I need to become. And you are just following that person. This person is choosing what this person likes. You are choosing what this person, what the other person likes. So probability of this person getting selected is naturally the higher. It has to be. But it is not going to be the case. So the very first thing that Time is long gone when people used to decide when you, they were there. No, it is not like that. As the market is moving towards the globalization more and more and expertise is the only thing that is being appreciated now. So you have to decide it right here, today itself, right where you want to reach. And wherever you want to reach, you, have, you are expected to create steps, create ladder, create, you know, a little movement towards that point. So make sure that yeah, you are going to start the planning today itself because those who are going to start planning today are going to be successful in life because they know where they need to go and those who are going to decide for because of others, because of influences, because of family, because of peer pressure, they are going to regret later and these things are not going to come back. Imagine you are playing cricket for five years and then you are entering the football match. Will you be performing well? Or you are practicing football for five years and six years you are going to get into your football career. Now, you are seen enough, you are smart enough, you are intelligent enough to understand that, yeah, what is the difference between these two cases is going to be like. So, uh, this is the importance of this juncture right now for you. Okay, so till here we have we have talked about that yeah how important it is right now to for you to choose the right kind of stream. And now let's get into the second that yeah how many options because you cannot make a good choice till the time you do not realize that how many options do you have, right? So I'm assuming this engineering, medical, and C. These are the three lines which are very predominant, and these are for very regular and uh, individuals who have already decided that yeah, I am going to get into that and they are going to pursue that. But except that, I really want to talk to those who feel, who feel they are different from others. They are different from the mob. They are different from the crowd. If you are different from the crowd, then definitely you have to be very careful because there will be ways which you have to identify and walk. Those who are regular individuals, those who are not different, those who are averages, they are going to walk the same path that has been laid by so many others before them. But if you are a person who is different from them, then you have to identify, that you have to observe, that you have to analyze that what is best for you. And then that is something that you are expected to walk through. So here my effort is to connect with those who are actually very much um, concerned that yeah they are not the ones who are going to follow the average path or the path that has been laid by almost 
you know, every third or fourth individual. If you are a different person, then you have to choose for different ways. So here there are certain careers, there are certain, you know, there are certain domains, there are certain fields that you should know so that when you are choosing from A, B, C, D, E on behalf of or the on the uh, keeping the priorities towards your interest, you should know all these available options are. Till the time we do not have any idea about available options, I can guarantee you, you cannot make a good decision. Imagine you are very good at X career. You are very good at X. But the choices that you have, X is not at all in that because you are not aware about the X. So do, will you be able to succeed in life? No, you will not. So here the point behind this video is to make you aware about what are the options do you have. So here there are certain options. And there are certain careers which are really rewarding individuals with very 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 high remunerations very high, very 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 successful career very demanding jobs and i mean handsome salaries and handsome resources so here there are uh, here are certain careers that you can go ahead with we we have here as we can see into the list we have got law here we have got ipm we have got uh, NIFT, we have got hotel management, we have got BBE, we have got several, several, several management based careers. You must have heard about people who did their graduation and after that they have gone for post graduation in management because management is something that is giving a very promising career and it is never out of fashion. So that is a very, very, very good, very impressive and highly in demand career. So there are so many variants that you can see on this screen right now. These are the things that we are going to keep talking about and all of these careers I'm going to discuss one by one and in depth, right? So let's start with the career in law field. So till now, when anyone used to say LLB, law, you know, any, any, any jobs related to law, jurisdiction and all these things, judiciary and everything. What used to come to our mind, the very first thing was the you know local courts and all these uh, you know lawyers roaming here and there, not earning any significant amount of money or fame in life. But the scenario has completely changed here. After the CLAT exam has started commencing, and uh, these uh, NLUs which are actually commencing these examinations, the scenario is completely changed. Now law is right now currently law is the most handsome and promising career in the available choices. Previously, as we know, they have already beaten the most famous, the I mean, every salary record in last five years of the most famous uh, initiation uh, initial level of career. So right now, law as we know, there are universities and uh, there are these and national law universities, uh, India Law Entrance Test, that is ALIT, conducted for uh, NLU Delhi. So law is very, very, very promising. Here, uh, you, we can see that, yeah, what are the possibilities that we can get in law? So there are tense 20s field where we can go after being graduated in law so you can, you can you can choose any of them and all of them are very 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 promising and as we can see that yeah we have got our students in fact the last year's students in uh, rank 2 and then you hyderabad itself and uh, and then you kolkata so we there we can see that yeah they, the way they give us the feedback the placements and you know 100% placements are there and students are getting placed even in the even before getting uh, the degree completed and all these things this is very 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 promising this is something that we can consider it is very promising hello everyone my name is govin and i am currently at rajiv gandhi national university of law punjab i did my clad preparations last year from career launcher bareilly the absolute credit of my success goes to my mentors at career launcher especially vishal sir and amitesh sir who helped made learning an easy and enriching process. The study material provided at Career Launcher was quite exhaustive and well compiled, which helped in grasping topics efficiently. 
Moreover, the competitive and conducive study environment at Career Launcher sets it apart from all other institutions in Bareilly. The extensive mock series, which was quite close to the actual flag, helped in adding final touches to my preparations. To sum up, Career Launcher is the best place to be if you want to ace any law entrance exam. So be there. Best of luck. So there are a lot of other things also about law. If a little about law clicks you, you can anyways, you can anytime come back because, you know, this is uh, the kind of information that I want you to gather on your own and wherever you need direction, you can definitely always reach us out. Then comes the next part, which is the, you know, uh, civil services. As we know, in the top NADUs, they are already providing coaching classes in the evening, free of cost coaching classes in the evening for those who are aspiring for career in civil services and judicial services, PCSJ, as we all know already in last three, three to four years, around 90 plus conversions come from NADUs, graduates. So, of course, if you are looking for corporate law, if you want to get settled into the corporate setup, if you want to, you know, get into the <coughs> research law research mode, if you want to work as an open NGO, if you want to work as law consultant, if you want to start your own law house, if you want to get into judicial, uh, you know, ju judicial domain, you want to get into, uh, you know, <coughs> judicial services, if you want to get into judicial clerkship, Law is something that is very, very, very versatile, that is capable of giving you n number of careers. Just what you want is you want to know that yeah, what you whether or not you are good at it. So that was about law. Now let's get into the next level, which is uh, IPM, Integrated Programming Management, two years, uh, three years graduation, and two years MBA from MBA. I am Indore and I am Rohtak for now and there are so many other IMs also lined up which are going to join very soon. By the time I expect you are going to write your examination, so many of the IMs are going to join. You must have heard about that, yeah, that, uh, you know, someone in the acquaintance, some of, someone of your friend's uh, brother or relative or cousin, they have done MBA and they are into corporate job and now they are earning very well. Where did, where did that all come from? That all come, came from MBA. So I am in if you are talking about uh, around 15 plus lakhs average package in last 10 to uh, 15 years, always. Just imagine, right? Three years of BBA and then you are going to do MBA from I am Indore and then you are going to get hired by the top companies. I am everyone knows Indian, Indian Institutes of Management. So this is the shortest and this is the finest way to enter. IP, uh, IMs through the IPM. I am Rota again. You know, I am tag you are going to have again. You are going to be there for three years of your graduation and then next two years you go for your post graduation and then you are going to get placed into the company. So, IPM is again very, very, very handsome. Hi, I am Ayushi Jaiswa. The race for me to hunt a good college is now over and I am now qualified for a different kind of race. But for 2020 aspirants, it's now the time to join the race. So start preparing for yourself. And also in my one year of preparation with Career Launcher, the most important thing that I learned was time management. And I observed that time management was the most crucial point from in every stage, whether from time of preparation till the actual paper. So just start putting all of your best and focused efforts in the right direction and you will definitely get what you want. So in the end, from my experience, I would say that everyone will get what they deserve. Just don't lose hope and confidence from yourself. So all the best. And when automatically when you are preparing for IPM, you will be preparing for BMS, Bachelor of Management Studies, which is, the, which is, a, which is a course being offered by Delhi University. You are going to be prepare, preparing for BBE, Bachelor of Business Economics. You are going to be preparing BMS, Bachelor of Management Studies of Christ University, Xavier's and all these things. So if you are preparing for management career, this is the one that is going to open the ways for everything. So again, 
needless to say mba is something that is always in demand if you are an engineer you can only go for the engineering companies where engineers jobs are available if for example if you are a, if you are a computer engineer you can only go to the computer engineering companies right software companies if you are a, you know if you are a financial analysis analyst you can only go where financial analysis is required but if you are a manager you can go anywhere every company needs managers every single company needs managers to manage their employees manage their projects and manage everything what they are running as a as operations so management ever blooming ever you know ever ever you know benefiting career always one of the top careers which are always going to be yielding a very 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 good advantage ad- advantages career for you now coming to hotel management hm hotel management again we have to identify whether or not we are good at it because some of the students they know from the initial stage it will never hotel management is called what comes to our mind our mind it comes to that yeah we are you know we are becoming chef we are cooking and all these things yes that is also a part of hotel management but that is not the all about it the hotel management career is actually divided into two parts culinary and property and hotel management basically right so luxury management also here we will be in one way we are we are going to manage the activities that are happening around the hotel and in another one definitely the chef line and if any one of you who finds a real 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 enthusiasm towards cooking and being known as a you know great chef enjoys cooking and enjoys serving and delicacies serving the delicacies and all these things of course that is something for you the earlier the sooner you know it the better career you form so it was nift national institute of fashion technology of course after the you know gradu- at the graduation level itself after graduation you have got fancy fields to get selected into you have you can you can always move to fashion industry you can move to movie industry and you know show business industry you can always get into the event management industry if there are n number of ways n number of places n number of ways so if you feel that you are, you are a person who is extremely creative extremely extremely creative with attire with fashion with you know you with uh, with the uh, with these kind of flashy activities then definitely this is a field for you you can always go ahead with for that after that these are a few other things mass communication mass comm is something that we can always get into mass comm is amazingly yielding career as we can see everywhere mass comm and mass comm when i'm talking about mass comm please do not consider i'm talking about only being a reporter or a cameraman there are n number of other technicalities involved in the, into the job there are n number of n number of things which are actually you know collecting the bits and pieces around whatever we watch on the news around whatever we watch as you know as the media so definitely if you are if you interested towards the media definitely mass comm is a field for you and then uh, let's talk about delhi university and uh, all of us know about that and when so many of us are having uh, you know a dream to get into delhi university and the favorite and in their favorite courses now let me uh, tell you it is a very 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 common sort of perception that all the courses from in du, du are going to seek for a very high percentage in pre and uh, if i am not scoring that much of percentage then how i am going to become capable of getting an admission over there but what we do not know there are so many courses there are so many other courses as well if you are going to go for bcom you are expected to uh, you know take get an admission on behalf of the cutoff based on the percentage in 12 but there are so many other courses which are going to have a an entrance exam we are going to talk about any you know if you are good at economics okay go ahead with bbe bachelor of business economics good placements very low, very low cost uh, fee structure and of course the exposure to delhi university which is a life changing experience so many of uh, you must be having parent, parents who actually have completed their graduation from delhi university you can all always refer to them the kind of exposure that you are going to get into the delhi university it is going to be amazing but for that we have to decide now what we are going to do then 
and after that BMS is going to be offered by Delhi University, Bachelor of Management is to, uh, Studies, BCom Honours and all such, there are so many other such examinations are going to be there. For that, they are going to take a common examination which is DUJAT, Delhi University Joint Admission Test. So that DUJAT is going to enable you to teach over there. What I need to choose? Do I need to choose science? Do I need to choose commerce with maths? Do I need to choose this? Do I need to choose that? Now you have to decide. If you are deciding now, then only you will be able to start targeting the correct career for you then. Because if you choose wrong now, you will not be able to. For imagine, there is a student who really wants to go to Delhi University to join a Bachelor of Business Economics or Bachelor of Management study. For that, he or she wants to write to you chat. But here they are taking commerce without math. And if you are not having maths, you chat is not for you. So definitely after two years, you will not at all be able to write your the examination that you are targeting. I want you to understand the students, there are only two types of students now. One, those who go where the life takes them. And another type, those who plan and make what they want to achieve in life. Now it's completely up to you that which side you want to join. And first and foremost thing here that is going to play the most important role in the university selection is whatever you have to choose, you do not need to think about any other factors before you decide what you are good at. There are students. We are good at this, we are good at that, should I take that, should I take this? They keep on asking others. Rather than asking others, first decide it with, on your own and then ask people that whether or not I am going to do the right thing. The experts, of course. For example, if agar you are not that good in math, it's okay. Try identifying better career options. Please do not feel that I need to do this only and this I have to do whether or not I like it. So that is the purpose of the whole process of choosing the right scheme is to identify what you are good at. Okay, as, I, as I gave, gave you the example, maths means that okay, I have to do other careers. Okay, I have to do such a career that I want to do in elementary mathematics and low mathematics, I can do good. Language is good, choose a career in language, go for the due courses. Right? If you if you feel like management is in you, go for management. There are n number of them. There are n number of examinations for that. Do you feel that yeah, this thing is good, choose this. But this that thing is good, choose that. But make sure of one thing, whatever you are going to choose, ensure you are taking an action according to that. Whatever you feel like, whatever makes you happy. There will be a situation that you will not be able to understand what you are good at. Look at you. Look at your own experience, your own scores. Apne aap, apne scores ko dekho. Apne classes mein apne interest ko dekho. Maybe you were interested more when you were reading physics. Maybe you were more interested into when you were reading history. Maybe you were more interested when you were studying accounts. That small, those small clues, chote 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 signs. If you are able to understand those signs only, you will be going to be successful because those are going to be successful who understand those signs. Because your brain always gives you signs. If you are able to understand them, if you are able to identify them, you are going to be successful. Nobody is going to be able to stop you. In that case, what I am going to do? I am going to take the humanity. I know humanity is something that is going to provide me with the kind of career that I actually want to choose for. It can be providing me any of the civil services based career, any of the government exam, you know, jobs based exams career. It can also provide me with a career in the law, it can also provide me with a career into the judiciary. So what I like today is going to shape my career tomorrow. So that is how we are going to actually plan the streams ahead. So these were the few career options that are always open for you and I'm not saying that yeah it is limited to that there are n number n number of options available there there are so many careers waiting for you just for you to give a serious thought, thought to it just to give it a real uh, possible you know uh, 
serious uh, a serious concern of yours so just what i want to ask ask you is what you are expected to do is just to set the target where you want to reach and according to that only you are expected to choose the uh, stream that ever, whichever you are going to choose altogether with that i would also suggest that yeah if you feel that yeah science commerce and biology are the only possible way no it is not that way even if you choose that you can go ahead beyond the boundaries of the you know conventional career still now so please be very careful and whenever you are making these choices please ensure that yeah you know what choice you are making and where it is going to take you and altogether with that i would like to show you that yeah there were certain students there were certain individuals who were in, in your state and they made the correct choice and now they are on the top of their career they are doing very well and uh, here you can you yourself can observe someone who was just two or three years back in your position and today you can see that yeah they are into the one of the top management institutes top law institutes top institutes of their own respective interesting domains so if they are doing all these things you can do it as well right these are certain things that i want you to want you all to go through that these are the people who actually made it happen who actually identified what they are going to do and we can see that they have already started you know reaching the top in in the in terms of the colleges that they have got an admission into right so step by step step by step they are reaching towards the success that they desire and they dream so you are the next please do very careful while deciding it do not let any other things influence you first whatever you like is the first importance and then identify what you are liking is going to take you where so that is the plan and trust me on this today if you are going to plan well tomorrow you are going to get whatever you are desiring to do so the whole success whole future depends on the choices that you are going to make today so with these words definitely i would wish you all the best every one of you and the guardians who are watching this video please do help your students to identify what they are liking what they you know prefer to do what they are good at and try to make them take an informed decision and altogether with that i will always be available and all of my colleagues and all all of my uh, counselor staff is always going to be around you in this decision making phase wherever you feel that yeah we are required please do get the information from your college staff and you can always search career launcher variety on internet right so with these words definitely i will be closing it here and i hope that all of you make a very well and very aware choice that takes you to the pinnacle of your successful career thank you everyone